as swimmers, archers, boxers, and thousands of other athletes train in preparation to compete at the 2015 Pan American Parapan American Games in Toronto, thousands of construction workers are performing their own prep work to ensure that nearly 40 new and existing venues are ready in time for the opening ceremonies. Thanks to our friends at Infrastructure Ontario, we were able to get a sneak peek of the Pan Am site where River Street meets the Bayview Extension in downtown Toronto. I'm on site today with Jesse Zucker from Infrastructure Ontario. We are here at the site of the Future Athletes Village. Maybe you can start out by telling us a little bit about what exactly the role Infrastructure Ontario plays in this particular project. Sure. Uh, Infrastructure Ontario was uh, engaged in about 2010. Uh, we were brought on board to be the project manager for the delivery of the Pan Am, Pan Para Pan Am Games Athletes Village. Um, so initially we uh, ran the procurement process, we ran an RFQ process and we ran an RFP process. We awarded to uh, Dundee Kilmer Limited with uh, Ellis Don Lead Corps in 2011, closed in um, December 2011. They've been under construction for about a year. So our role is, broadly speaking, to oversee the construction and make sure the project comes in on time and on budget. And there's obviously quite a few facilities being built here. Can you give us a description of some of the ven major venues and sure. structures? So the project consists of uh, two market condominium buildings, uh, two affordable rental housing buildings, and one uh, joint block that's going to house a, a 82,000 square foot YMCA and 175,000 square foot George Brown facility. Now I understand that this project's a little bit unique in the fact that not only do you have to build the facility for the games, but then following the games there's a massive renovation that takes place as well. Yeah, so it is, uh, it is an interesting um, logistical challenge. Obviously athletes uh, come in and they have, um, their, their needs are a little different than the end users. The end users are condominium dwellers, so they'll have um, you know, a high grade of finish. In their, in their completed suites, but the athletes a little more rough on their suites uh, and we also can house them two to a room. So the uh, interim condition, the temporary condition will look quite a bit different than the final condition. After the athletes are, are uh, complete their uh, venues, it's a three week period in, in the summer of 2015, then Elliston Ledcar will, will remobilize and uh, basically um, reconstruct or renovate all of the buildings to their finished state. This is a very prime piece of real estate. Can you tell me why it hasn't been developed before now? It was uh, attempted to be developed um, on a couple occasions. It was previously known uh, as the Atari Challenges that previous attempts have faced have largely been revolved around uh, the fact that it's in a floodplain. So to get uh, past that challenge, what uh, the Infrastructure Ontario has been building over the past few years is called a flood protection landform essentially a rise in the land that prevents the 500 year flood water from, from entering the site and in fact it actually uh, reduces the risk of flood all the way to bay and so it's quite a, a large stretch of the city of Toronto. 